Hello, rock people. This is Dave, the geology dude. Today, we get a quick look at Washington State mining history. This is an old ingot from the Blewett Mining District. The original town of Blewett is no longer there, but the mining district is located on the east side of the Cascade Range Mountains. It is between the cities of Clay Elm and Wenatchee. I should state that this ingot is cast from lead. There is only a thin plating of gold on the surface. In fact, some of the gold has worn away from the surface of this ingot, revealing the gray color of the lead inside. Lead is a relatively inexpensive metal, but it has a high density. This ingot weighs 52 ounces, or about three and a quarter pounds, which is about 1.5 kilograms. Since lead has a density of 11 grams per cubic centimeter, a solid gold ingot would be much heavier. Gold has a density of 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter, which is 175% more than lead based on its size or volume. Therefore, the same size ingot filled with gold would weigh about five and three quarter pounds, about 2.6 kilograms. The Blewett Mining District was perhaps the first gold mining district in Washington state. Placer gold was discovered perhaps as early as 1860 and in nearby bedrock in 1874. Silver, copper, nickel, mercury, and chromium also were associated with these ore deposits. But by 1910, only limited mining continued in the area. Historic dredging of local riverbeds created the largest unreclaimed mining areas that remain in Washington state. Back in the early 1990s, I remember interviewing Jack Kirsch. He was the last of the old-time gold miners in the Blewett Mining region. Although in his 90s, Jack Kirsch lived in a tiny cabin in the old mining town of Liberty, which is near the Blewett Mining District. He continued to work some of his gold claims in the area despite his age. He had been mining in the area since 1931. When I met him, I was working on a thesis on the building stone industry in Washington State. This was for my geology thesis at the University of Puget Sound. Jack Kirsch previously quarried sandstone and rhyolite in the area. I really had no interest in gold mining at that time. I didn't care about the gold deposits in the area. I suppose that he recognized that attitude in me, and that was a good thing. He was naturally skeptical of outsiders, and when we first met, he gave me a long, hushed stare. And then he said, I usually don't talk to people like you, but I will make an exception. <laughs> then he told me about his former building stone business. I learned a lot. My clueless attitude in gold and the lack of interest allowed me to have that conversation. But he did relate an old joke about the gold industry. He said that some people were willing to work for free back in the old days. The agreement for them was that they could keep any of the wire gold they found while working as compensation. Of course, wire gold is rare, and the mine owners knew that the Blewett Mining District didn't contain any wire gold. 